Here's a few tips and techniques for getting the most out of your bandsaw. Now that we have set up your bandsaw, let's make some sawdust. The first thing that we're going to need to think about is safety. Before you operate your saw, you need to disconnect the power cord from the wall and check your blade tension. Check the blade tracking, being careful not to catch your finger behind the wheel. Now make sure your doors are locked. Now we can plug the saw back in. Make sure that you do not have any loose clothing. If you have long sleeves, roll them up. If you have on any jewelry or watches, remove those at this time. Put on your eye and ear protection. You will need to have adequate dust collection and a respirator. A bandsaw will generate a lot of fine dust. During this video, I will not be wearing a respirator so that we can still talk. Make sure the material being cut is down solid against the table. Adjust your upper guides before you turn on your saw so that it will be just above the wood. Never cross cut something that can roll without putting it on a jig first. Know where your body, hands, and fingers are going to be at all times during the cut. Make sure you can handle the weight of the wood to be cut. Never push too hard or push your hands toward the blade. Laguna Tools would uh, like to remind you that this video is merely for tips and techniques, not necessarily an instructional video on how to operate a bandsaw. For that, we'd like you to refer to A, your owner's manual, B, local woodworking schools or a local woodworking college, and woodworking books. Please note that during the shooting of this video, some safety equipment may be removed or not used for demonstrational purposes only. The easiest way to set your fence for drift is to take a piece of scrap wood that's flat, put it up against the fence, and you're going to make a cut about three or four inches to, into the piece of wood and stop the blade during the cut. Let me do that now. Now that you've stopped your blade, you're going to leave it in the curve and check the clearance from one side to the other to make sure that your blade, the rear of the blade, is centered in the curve that you made with the front of the blade. As you'll notice, this side here is a little bit tight and this is loose. And the way that you'll adjust that is up on the front of the fence right here. Sometimes it's helpful just to loosen the back one a little more and leave the front one just finger tight so that the fence pivots evenly. Now that you've adjusted it, you'll make a second cut, a test cut and check your adjustment. And now you'll see you have an even gap from side to side on the blade. Here's another great tip. When you go to coil your bandsaw blade up, sometimes it's a little bit tricky. Make sure you put some gloves on to protect your hands and some glasses because the blade can spring out on you. Put your, sh your uh, hands about shoulder width apart, palms up, and grasp the blade, and begin rotating them toward each other and gently turning them, palms down. That'll foil, form your first and second coil. And there's your third. Just that simple. You begin with a quality bandsaw, you can make cuts that you would normally make on a table saw. With a nice bandsaw and a good blade, you can also do some very nice resaw cuts. To make good accurate cuts, I like to cut on the outside of the fence, but if I'm making a lot of repetitive cuts, sometimes I'll cut up against the fence.
With a good bandsaw, you can even make tall resaw cuts in a large piece such as this. For these type of cuts, I like to use a feather board to hold it up against the fence. With the resaw king blade, even on a tough piece of uh, wood like this to cut, this uh, curly maple, normally you get an extraordinary amount of uh, tear out. We'll get a, a perfectly smooth cut on this as well. We've shown you how the bandsaw cuts straight lines. Let's cut a few curves now. We're going to cut out this table leg.
nice cabriolet ready to hit with a, uh, some sandpaper and a uh, spoke shave and uh, clean it up. As we mentioned before, the bandsaw is great for cutting circles. This is a circle cutting jig and you can get aftermarket ones or purchase one from us. Let me show you how this works. cut round logs like this, uh, it's a very difficult cut unless you use some sort of jig or fixture to hold your log as the log will want to spin on you. It, it's a very dangerous cut when there's nothing on the bottom to support it. In that case here we've made this jig out of uh, just some scrap plywood and actually screwed the log to the jig here. We'll go ahead and square off two sides with this jig. Now that we have this log squared off on two sides, we can put this side down against the table, this side against the fence, and we, be, we can begin ripping this log into usable lumber. This is a perfect way to take that tree in the backyard and make it into an heirloom jewelry box for your family. When pushing wood through the bandsaw, there's a couple of tips that can help keep your hands out of the way. The first thing is that as you're pushing, you want to keep your uh, pressure with this hand pushing against the fence, not so much into the blade or forward, mostly pushing this way. And a lot of the times I'll hook my hand over the fence to guide things through. In a tough situation like this, there's a couple of things that you can do. Uh, you can actually take the fence of this one and lay it down on its side. Let me go ahead and move the fence to the bottom position and I'll show that to you. Now with the fence in the low position, it makes it easy to glide your hand across the fence without putting your hand between the fence and the blade. At this point the fence is only about half an inch thick. Another thing that you can do is to use a push stick if you have clearance issues between your hand and the blade. You can use a commercially available one or you can make one out of wood in your shop. And of course the ultimate accessory for your Laguna bandsaw is the Laguna Logmaster. It allows you to process large wood very easily with your bandsaw.